My name is Carsten Foss. I'm an application scientist from BioRats Process Chromatography Group. And today I'd like to talk to you about optimizing purity and recovery in a monoclonal purification process using mixed mode chromatography media. So, as outlined on this poster, here BioRat has been screening a couple of mixed mode chromatography media to, with respect to purity and recovery. Purity and recovery are important factors and parameters that are screened in chromatography development when you're screening different resins for your application. Bioret has been screening a couple of mixed mode resins for aggregate clearance in a monoclonal antibody purification process and they've been selecting the resins that were uh, exceeding a dynamic binding capacity of 30 mix per mil. Then Bioret has been analyzing the results for aggregate clearance. And as you can see here in the uh, summary table, Bioret has chosen uh, the ceramic hydroxyapatite as one chromatograph chromatographic material and uh, kept it here and kept it here impress as uh, competitors examples. And, and in the first development of a purification strategy, these resins have been used to bind and elude the target molecule in a normal gradient purification process. And as you can see in this figure, uh, the strategy behind this purification method is to keep some impurities in front of the gradient and the flow through and have other impurities eluting late or being cleaned off in a stripping or sipping step and eluting the target molecule in the gradient zone. And this method has been applied to the three resins that were shown for aggregate clearance. And it has been uh, analyzed by SEC HPLC. And as you can see here in, in the figure below, um, the ceramic hydroxyapatite was clearly capable of retaining a high purity which is a low aggregate content below 0.5% by keeping the recovery very high. So in the form of this linear gradient, uh, we were capable of recovering 70% of the monomeric monoclonal antibody. In comparison to this, the other resins were not capable of uh, keeping the comparable recovery under the same conditions with the same clearance of aggregate. So when you look at that figure, you will see that you exceed the 0.5% uh, of aggregates. You exceed the level of 0.5% of aggregates at recoveries around 70 or uh, even down to 50%. The process has been further refined to convert the linear gradient illusion into a uh, step illusion process and that is outlined on the right of the poster and as you can see here for the ceramic hydroxyapatite and the capto adhere resins uh, this method was repeated either with a salt gradient or pH gradient and um, by this kind of processing regime, the CHT resin was capable of getting a recovery of more than 80% in comparison to the capto adheres, which were on 62% recovery and 49% uh, recovery. Um, second to the parameters of um, product recovery and purity, which is aggregate clearance, we're also taking a look at the illusion volume, which is another key factor in purification development. And as you can see on the right side, on the top figure, the illusion volume on the CHT chromatography material is far more narrower than on both the capto adhere resins. And this is another key factor. You can concentrate your sample very well and you have a lower illusion volume to store. So in summary, you can see that Bioret's ceramic hydroxyapatite is capable of getting a very good aggregate clearance at very high recoveries and 
achieving that in a very small illusion volume. I hope I could give you a good insight on what CHT can do for you and your purification.